Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. Uh, firstly, I'm going to do what everybody else is doing and saying this is an adult channel. This is for people aged over 13 <coughs> um, and not for children. Um, this is to keep it in line with copper. We'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. Um, but yes, I have not been posted lately because I have not been well. Um, both Jennifer and I have had chest infections and been very very poorly I'm actually still off work with mine because although the majority of it is now gone I'm still very breathless and wheezy and the doctor said to stay at home and rest basically so Jennifer's in bed Paul's in bed I thought we'd do a bit more of this so first thing I want to say other than the thing about this is an adult channel which it is is welcome to all my new subscribers I have had quite a few new subscribers um, over the last few days I don't know whether or not this is because of a lot of people giving up um, uh, working on YouTube because of this copper thing or or what but I know that there are quite a few new people so I would like to say hello to you all. So thank you for joining me. Um, to those of you who have been here before, thank you for coming back. And thank you for being very patient with me while I have been so, so very ill. So we are colouring in Johanna Bassford's World of Flowers. And we are using the watercolour pencils from WH Smith. So what can I say? Okay, so copper. Uh, so the FTC and copper find YouTube a lot of money for collecting data on under 13s and ever since that YouTube um, content creators like myself have been up in arms because nobody knows what's going on. Now my battery's decided to go so I'm just going to go and change it and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are back again, change the battery. Just typical really. Now I'm going to start knocking the camera. Okay, so yes, yeah, so basically YouTube have given content creators two options to choose from when they are listing, um, publishing their videos and that is either for children or for adults. Now, Copper have recently just come out and said that if you make content that can be classed as family entertainment or for everyone, so that is not child directed and not specifically over 18 or adult related so it's for that group of people that fall between you know 13 and 18 then you're exempt you, you don't fall under copper because if I'm sitting with a child and we're watching something together and it's it could be family entertainment I'm given the consent for that child to watch that video so say for instance Jennifer therefore I give consent for them to collect data on her, basically. It's something along those lines. It's, it's very, very complicated. Basically, Copper and FTC have said that if you make family entertainment, and that would include colouring and arts and crafts, gaming, um, to some toy reviews, then you don't need to be covered by Copper because it's for everyone. You're not specifically directing it at children. You're also not spe necessarily specifically directed at adults. Now, as far as I'm concerned, my channel is specifically directed at adults, although <sighs> there is some colouring in it that could be seen as for children, i.e. depending on the material. Now, YouTube, in their wisdom, have only given us two options, for children, or for adults. There's no grey area in between and there should be. Basically YouTube are breaking the rules again by not giving us that option and the reason they're not giving us that option is apparently if they gave us that option they would lose too much revenue. So basically they're just being greedy bastards. So I'm not going anywhere. I am going to mark everything as for adults because as far as I'm aware I'm not specifically directing anything for children. If, obviously, at some point I made a video that was Jennifer specifically playing with a toy, showing how to use it to another child, then that would be classed as directed for children, and quite rightly so. 
but I have no intention of making anything like that at this moment. Yes, I do have um, videos featuring Jennifer, and if necessary, I will stop featuring Jennifer. I just won't show her at all in, in the video if, if it's gonna be a problem, because I enjoy making videos. Now, I do think that mostly they're going to go over content creators that are, are bigger. They're not going to go after tiny creators like myself. I don't even monetize my account. I don't have enough su subscribers at this point to monetize my account. So for me, although I still have to mark everything as either child or adult content, there's no not going to be any ads targeting anybody, let alone children. Now, that's not to say that it might change one day. It might do. I ha currently have two channels. I have this one and the vinyl vlog one, which I haven't posted on in months and months. Again, because I've just been too busy with Jennifer and work and all that stuff that I just have not had the time. And I'm hoping to get back to that one at some point soon. And I was gonna start a third classic movies channel, but at the moment, I'm struggling I, I basically on what to call it. Basically, I like making videos about a wide variety of subjects, but I know you get better viewing and subscribers if you specialize in one niche. So the idea on that would be, I'm not doing photography at the moment, so we wouldn't have any photography on any of the channels. Although that would come under Andrea's Attic, which is my hobbies and crafting channel. So that would come under this. Um, so Andrea's Attic is going to be preliminary, prelim I can't even say it, mainly for colouring and reading and hobbies. So that would be like arts and craft hobbies. So photography, colouring. I haven't done any diamond painting at the moment. I sort of, I'm not sure it's for me. So I might get a small one just to try it out at some point. Um, it looks fiddly and that sort of thing is the sort of thing that I would uh, not enjoy. But I'm willing to give it a go. <coughs> and then we'll have the vinyl vlog which will be all about music as it is at the moment um, so that's vinyl hunting, record fairs, halls, going to concerts when I go to concerts, anything record related one of the things we plan on doing in the new year is going to Spillers in Cardiff which is the oldest record shop in the world. Now that video will not be posted on Andrea's Attic, it will only be posted on the vinyl blog. So if you wanted to see that, you would have to go over there. And then I'm thinking of having a channel just for all the film related stuff and that will include all my Marilyn Monroe videos which I am going to download and save and then re-upload to a new channel when I think of a name and I haven't think of a, thought of a name yet and I just it's just because I love so many things that I think you know I'd be better off having more than one channel for them so that's the plan at the moment but I'm not there yet so so I'm not going anywhere I'm going to complete carry on uploading videos if they did decide that my channel was child content which it isn't there's no way it is um and they, they, they you know they could try and find me but I ain't got a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of to be honest um, the, the worst they could really do other than find me which I don't think they would do because I'm such a small channel I don't make any money out off of advertising revenue at all is shut my channel down. And if they did that, well, I'd just have more time to myself, wouldn't I? I'd have more time to colour, more time to watch everybody else's video, if they're still allowed to make them, and more time to um, do my eBay, which I am still doing, by the way. And so it would give me more time to do that sort of thing. So to me, it swings and roundabouts. I don't want to stop making videos. I love making videos for you guys. I, I know that some of you do enjoy them. Those of you who leave comments, and I do appreciate every comment. I read all the comments and I do try and answer them. Um, so, yeah. 
I do appreciate it. And like I said, I do appreciate every single new subscriber that has subscribed in the last week. And there have been a fair few of them. And there are some names I recognise as well. So thank you very much. I hope you will continue to enjoy um, my content. And I hope that I can continue to um, put up videos for you. Whether they feature Jennifer or not uh, might be something that I have to change. Um, the whole point is that it was family friendly and, and the point of show, showing videos was, of Jennifer was for my family in New Zealand to be able to see them as well. So for instance I had to comment on the, one of the last videos I put up which was still one of the holidays and I still haven't finished doing all those even though it was over a month ago we got back it uh, was a comment from my sister-in-law. Um, so part of the reason I put them up is for them. Um, but we shall just have to see how it goes in the new year. But like I said, as far as I'm concerned, this isn't a channel directed at children. There may be the odd video that Copper think is. I don't think there is at the moment. There's nothing, you know. I don't tend to colour in... Um, simple colouring books. I do have a few and I tend to do them um, on my own in the evening when I just want something calm to do. So for instance, at the moment, <coughs> this tonight I've been colouring in Jade Summers Unicorns Volume 2. I'm going to finish that picture tonight, I only started tonight. Once I finish this video, I should go and finish it. Now, that's not something I would do on camera, but it is something I would happily do on my own just to chill out and relax. So, yeah. It's hard to know which way it's going to go and, and what's going to happen, but I think the worst thing we can do is panic and I think it's a shame that some YouTubers have decided to pull out. I totally understand why. At the moment, I don't think um, YouTube have set their bots on my channel, um, so I don't know if anything has flagged up as child only or for children, because nothing's child only unless you're doing nursery rhymes and things things like that some cartoons maybe so and I can't even see the age demographic of my viewers because I don't have a huge channel I don't have enough demographics for them to tell me what it is that my age ranges are I just don't have enough viewers so it's going to be very hard for me to, to know whether they'd consider it child friend or child directed content it's it's but mostly I'm gonna start coughing a bit child friendly because I although <coughs> I do swear I don't swear a lot and I don't particularly like the coloring books that swear they're not for me um I don't like overtly violent stuff I do love horror movies though, but I don't love gory ones. I love proper horror movies. Ones that play with your mind. To me that is what a horror movie should be. It's something that plays with your head, not with your... making you feel sick and all that stuff. So I've also got a bit of a headache. But that's the tail end of this illness and cold I've got. It's terrible. Um, yeah, so Jennifer got sick a couple of weeks ago. And she had a very bad cough. So she had a temperature in the night, at night. So I gave her some cowpole, put her to bed, um, rang the doctors, amazingly got an appointment, didn't have to go and sit and wait, took her down to the doctors and um, they listened to her chest and said, yes, yeah, she's very, very wheezy. I'll give her some antibiotics. Um, and luckily that's cleared up lovely but that was on the Thursday they gave her the antibiotics Thursday and Friday when I was off with her I was fine I was nothing wrong with me at all a bit sniffly but then if she's got colds I'm gonna get cold because all she wants when she's ill is mummy I'm just having a drink um so yeah so she oh, my head's killing me it's terrible Sorry. So yeah, I was fine on, on Friday, Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday, oh my God, Saturday was horrendous. 
oh, it was horrible. Saturday, I started coughing and wheezing and I thought, oh, here we go. And then after I, uh, Got to Sunday and I was still feeling a bit bleh and I was very, very wheezy and I said, I'm going to have to go to the doctor's tomorrow. So I got down to the doctor's just around eight o'clock, made an appointment, obviously phoned work to let them know that I wasn't coming in because I was going to the doctor's. Got in. Went to the doctors, yeah, she's very, very wheezy. Antibiotics, course of steroids, the usual stuff that they give me because of my asthma. See so, yeah, how it goes. Week supply of antibiotics, five days worth of steroids. That's normal. That is the normal, what they give you. Um, phoned in, came, told them. No problem, just ring in every day because you haven't got a sick note. You get a sick note, you don't need to ring in, so. gets to the weekend and I'm still feeling pretty rough this is the weekend just gone and I'm like I'm not right I'm still wheezing I'm still coughing so I get up Monday morning normal time thinking right let's see and I'm like no I can't so I phone in again so I'm going back to the doctors get an appointment go back down yeah still a bit of a wheeze still a bit of crackling on the lungs um nearly gone so they're not going to give me any more medication, which is quite right, they shouldn't, because antibiotics stop working if you take too many, and I've had loads this year. Oops, I just broke my pencil. So, I got her to sign me off for this week. But because I'm signed off, I don't have to phone in every morning, which means that tomorrow... Excuse me. I can make sure that the alarms are all switched off and unless I wake up coughing I shall sleep through until Jennifer wakes me up which is fine so I was doing really well with the colouring up until Jennifer got sick I was colouring most days even if it was only like a few things, a little bit every day. Um, but since she's been ill, I've hardly coloured anything. And I've had a good few days. I've only coloured one, two, maybe five, six, five or six things this month. And I was, I was on course to be doing about 15. So I will admit, some of those Christmas ones. I've gone a bit mad on the Christmas this month. Ready? I had a few Jade Summer Christmas books come in, and I thought I got a, I want a colour in it. So, so I have. So naughty me. Next month is all Christmas books. Well, all winter related. Um, for on camera when we're doing lots of stuff on off offline, I might do some more. So next year I'm going to do, um, try and do my colouring catch-ups on, uh, film them on Sundays and Mondays and then put them out on Mondays and when, uh, Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, Tuesdays I'm going to film Wednesday Whip, so this is where I pick up one of the whips I've got left over from this year and we'll have a chat together and try and see how much we can finish it. Yeah, that's still the house, that's fine. Um, and I have got a few because I've got, still got Henry's books in um, Romantic Country to finish. That was one of the ones I was trying to finish this week, this month. I wanted to finish this month, but I haven't touched it. I've got uh, The Green Man from the Colour in Heaven Nouveau Fantasy Special, which I've started but I've hardly done anything on. 
What else have I got? I have got the one from Dracula. And a few others. But so what have you all been colouring? What are you all up to? What do you think about this copper thing? Is it affecting the way you make videos if you are a um, a YouTuber? And I say YouTuber because you may be a colour tuber, you may be a book tuber, you may be um, a game tuber or a photography tuber. I don't know, you could be any one of a number of tubers and different things that we do. So I'm just interested in what you what you're doing and what your plans are. So I know a lot of people have spoken about it. So I think all we can do is just wait and see what happens. Um, and like I said, I haven't seen any of my videos flagged up as for children yet, but I and I will. I am vigilantly checking it to make sure um, I am looking at my analytics daily just to see what anything says so but yeah it's very very difficult to know what to do but I like making videos um, but if they stop me they stop me I'm not gonna go to another I'm not gonna go to a streaming service like Twitch because I don't like streaming I just don't like it. I don't particularly like watching live streams. And I don't particularly like doing them. But that's just me, so. I totally get why people like them because the interaction's immediate. You're not, you know, you're not waiting for comments to come in afterwards. But as somebody who might, oops, I've missed a bit, try and watch one back, I can find it quite frustrating because the person who's on screen is reading the comments, quite rightly so. But they're not actually reading the comments out loud, but they're answering the question. So somebody may ask, what are your thoughts on copper? And they might just say, well, I think it's gonna affect me in this way. But yeah, you, you're not 100% sure what the question actually was. So I do find watching live streams back quite frustrating, but I do understand why people like them, like to do them. If I can watch a stream live, I do. If it's something I'm interested in, um, but it's not something I'd be particularly interested in. I wouldn't know how to do it anyway. Um, I guess I'd have to do it through my phone and I don't have the right sort of tripod for my phone at this time. I might get one and we might see about it. I've certainly got enough data to do live streaming, if, even if I'm not at home when it's connected to the Wi-Fi, but we'll have to see. So, it's looking nice so far. I'm, in, I'm quite enjoying this little picture. It's just deciding what bit to do next. Oh, hello. What's that? Something strange is happening in the house. Um, so Christmas has come in. I was planning on doing Vlogmas, but I'm not actually sure now with all this um, uh, stuff about... What colour have I got? Oh yeah. Um, with all this stuff regarding the copper thing, I'm really not sure whether or not I want to to do it. Because that can possibly be flagged as child friendly, I guess. Depending on what you're doing. I mean, if you're going to see Santa, that could be. So, and I, I don't think I want the hassle of trying to do a daily video. I've, I've struggled to do weekly ones, to be honest, at the moment with everything that's going on with work and eBay and YouTube and Jennifer. It's quite difficult to actually decide what to do with it. So, uh, I don't know. So this Christmas, we're not spending a lot of money on each other. We just don't have it. 
because of the car incident, which I still haven't got. Still waiting. Uh, number one, that's fine. So we are not spending a lot. We've we've got all of Jennifer's stuff now. She doesn't need a lot. She's got a load of toys. We've bought her a, a doll that sings and talks. And we've bought her a ball pit with 250 balls. And we've bought her some books. And I, to be honest, that's enough. She doesn't need anything else. She's going to get presents from my mum and dad, from her dad's dad, from granddad Mervyn. She'll get presents from Sally, which is Paul's mum. Um, she'll get money from my brother because he gives her money. And I'm happy with that. Basically, he gives me a cheque. I put it into my bank account and then I transfer the money into her junior ISA. So, and she's got a fair bit of money in there. Really, really pleased with the way it's shaping up. I mean, she can't touch it till she's 18. So the whole plan was for us to try and get her enough money for university or a car or a deposit on house. But, but it's her so she can do what she wants with it or travel the world if she wants. Um, and my plan is to give it to her on her 18th birthday. But that's it. But yeah, I mean, I've mostly asked for, I have an Amazon wish list, which um, every year I send the link to my brother. I don't know why I do it every year because it's the same link and it's the same stuff, but hey. And he, he and my mum choose items from the wish list. So there are mostly books on there, there's some DVDs on there, there are some colouring books on there, there are some coloured pencils, it's the um, Black Widow Dark Skin Tones is on there, because I haven't got those yet. Um, there are some colouring books on there, um, I can't think offhand, there's Serenity, the TV series Serenity, you know the one by the Joss Whedon one. Well, it's Firefly Serenity was the film. Um, there's, what was the other thing? Um, Hannah Carlson's Spirit Animals and Daydreams and Maria Trelay's Flora. Um, I haven't got all of the books, so um, then obviously I've got, and there's some DVDs on there and some film related books which is great. And then I've given a list to Paul for him to choose from and that's got things like some books, some colouring books. Again, there's Botanicum by Maria Trollet and a Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. Uh, no coloured pencils or anything like that. There is a record on there which is Joni Mitchell's Ladies of the Canyon, which is of course the one that features the song Big Yellow Taxi and some DVDs and Paul, I've started getting Paul's Paul's is already ordered, well one of it's ordered so. I've ordered a dress from the Christmas party, I just hope it fits because I've been ill, I haven't felt like looking for a dress so I've had to order something from Debenhams it's coming on Thursday. It's the waste that worries me. But we shall see what it looks like. If it doesn't fit, I can nip to Newport and take it back and have a look at what they've actually got in store. Uh, we're going out on the 7th and we're going to the Celtic Manor. And uh, it's black tie, so I've got to have a long evening dress. So I've ordered one. I like it, but whether or not it'll fit, I don't know. I've gone by the measurements and they're about right, but... Ideally, I would have ordered two sizes, but they only had the one in, so I couldn't. But we shall see. my next colouring splurge and that is when I can afford something expensive because I'm really liking using the watercolours I 
I am. I like the, the way they look. I want to get the 72 count of Derwent watercolours. I would like the um, Neo Colour 2s as well for backgrounds, but I'll have to look into those. But I, I was thinking about looking at them today and I thought I like those. And I do like the Derwent pencils. I've got the Colour Softs and I really like them. I've got to be honest, I like all my pencils. It just depends on what I want to colour as to which ones I like the best. So, Green Man, I'm using the Polychromos. They're a bit of a pain because I've still got them in the original tin and I need to get them into a case, really. So what do you think of the having three separate channels for different things? I mean, some people like the hodgepodge stuff. Um, but I'm trying to build my viewer bases on each platform because I don't, I mean, I, I'm not a person who cares what a person does. If somebody posts a video on photography and then the next day it's a current video, that doesn't, that's even, that's even better because I watch channels because I like the person hosting. I don't watch them necessarily because of the content. So for instance, Days with Jordan the Lion is, he does travel vlogs, um, but he started out doing vlogs on Hollywood because he lives in Hollywood. So I started watching him because I love his Hollywood vlogs. Now, that's not to say that I don't watch any of his other vlogs. I mean, okay, sometimes he might do something that doesn't particularly interest me, but in general, I watch pretty much everything he does. Maybe not at the time he does it, but I do watch it. So for instance, I watched um, his Amelia Earhart video the other day when he visited uh, Amelia Earhart's birthplace because at the moment I've been going through a bit of an Amelia Earhart kick. Now when I tend to do that I tend to bulk watch whatever he's been posting. The only ones I tend not to watch are ones when it's on bands like Kiss because I don't like the band Kiss. Sorry about that I don't know what's going on the camera keeps stopping for some reason. Um, I was saying about Jordan the Lion being able to post whatever he wants to, so I hope this is carrying on from where I left off and it wasn't stopped for like an hour or something ridiculous. Well, um, So I know that some people go to a channel and watch it specifically because it is about colouring or specifically about reselling or specifically about books or specifically about Hollywood. <coughs> that doesn't bother me. Um, myself, I don't mind if it's a bit of a mishmash, but... I can understand that people do say that if you post consistently on one subject, you are more likely to get a lot more viewers and consistency. So I, that's what I want to try and, and do across these channels is consistent. I want it to be consistent. So, so Andrea's Attic is my hobbies channel. Now, yes, I can say that Hollywood movies read and um, watching films, <coughs> listen to music, they're hobbies too, but they're more niche hobbies. Um, so yes, Andrea's Attic is going to be for colouring, reading and photography, the sort of artsy, craftsy ones, although obviously reading isn't, but it sort of goes with books and colouring books and all that stuff. And then we're going to have Andrea's, so that's Andrea's Attic, we've got the vinyl vlog, which is specifically music, music related, so that's going to be concerts, records, bands and so on and then we'll have a cinema one so at the moment I have no idea what I'm going to call the cinema one do you have any ideas because if you do I'd love to hear from you um, at the moment I'm leaning towards something like moving pictures um, something along those lines because it's not just going to be about Hollywood films it's going to be about world films so I mean obviously I live in the UK so to me making films just about making videos just about Hollywood films is silly I'm not in Hollywood I can't get to any Hollywood locations I might be able to however get to some London British locations Welsh locations obviously I'm in Wales and so on but I can't 
you know, and I don't just like Hollywood movie stars. I like movie stars from all around the world. I like Diana Dawes, who was British, and, and so on. So to just focus on that would be to deny a part of British heritage, you know. And I mean, obviously, yes, I'm a huge Marilyn fan. Marilyn is my favourite person. But just because she's my favourite doesn't mean say I can't make videos about other movie stars or, you know, Cary Grant. He's British. He came from my hometown. I'm from Bristol and so was he. So much so that my dad actually saw him once in a restaurant. He was having lunch or dinner with his mother. My dad was probably delivering something there or having a meal, I don't know. And he, he saw Cary Grant there, so. There are lots of different things that we can do. It doesn't have to be just American film, so it would be nice to do that, but I need a name for it. Um, and I'm I'm struggling and I want to make it a very nicely produced one as well. I want end and beginning and end titles and things like that just to just to give it a little bit of a you know. But we are colouring on this channel. We love colouring. I know I've waffled on a lot today. We're going to be finishing soon because I think we're about 30 odd minutes now. Again, I'm not 100% sure because the camera cut off halfway through. But uh, we have done a good amount on this one, so I'm happy with that. We are actually getting somewhere with it now. Not a long way to go, but I actually feel like I've achieved something. I only had a tiny little bit of it done before the door and some of the leaves. <laughs> Terrible. So I'm just going to do these little bits on the mushrooms and I'm going to call it a night here, going to go and watch some YouTube. I'm going to finish off my um, that's too small. Where's the top gone? I don't know where the top is, I'll find it. Um, my unicorn picture because like I said I've just used the touch five markers on that they are wearing out now the touch five some of them I'm going to need to get some more alcohol markers that you know that sort touch new or hoo hoo or something I was looking at them they're not as expensive as they used to be so I'm quite happy to give it a go and see what I can get so it won't be till after Christmas <laughs> And I'm going to have to save up for the, um, the do in watercolours if I want them. But that's fine, I don't mind saving. I have got, I do save up a lot of change. I've got to bank it soon. And I have got enough in there, more than enough to buy that. In fact, I've got enough in there to buy um, those. And if I wanted to, a set of Holbeins, which I'm not going to do because that's ridiculous. If I was an a artist, a proper artist, and I was drawing my own work and colouring it in, then it would be worth it. But to just colour in the way I do, mm -mm. Polychromos was a bit much for that, in my opinion, but I got them pretty much for free because I, um, I had a voucher from work and... Uh, I used that to get them. And I, I, no, I didn't. That, I actually used my savings for that. They were in the Black Friday sale. That's how long ago it was. It was the Prismacolor premieres I got with my money from work. My bon bonuses. I do get bonus every year. Well, have lately. Obviously, because I'm part time next year, it will be pro rata, data, whatever, but still. Where's the top one? Ah, oh, there it is. So that's it for today. I know I've rattled on a bit. 
Like I said, I'm going to go and check my analytics in a minute while I'm doing this, just to see where we are, if it's telling me I'm flagging for children or not. Um, I think it's just unfair that if, if it flags for children, you're going to have your comments turned off, because a lot of the reason people do YouTube is for the interaction with viewers, so let me know what you think down below. This is coming on nicely. I really like this book. I still plan on doing my... What's it called? Fine liners review soon. I'm a budget pencil review and, and I know I'm behind with everything I need to do. Um, I'm hoping to do the fine liner one in the next couple of days because I really want to use them. I've got another new book to use them in that I picked up on the weekend. So yeah, leave me a comment down below if you're allowed to. And um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. I do appreciate all my subscribers. I don't even know if I'll bother monetizing it if I did get enough. I might do, I might not. It really depends. Uh, leave a comment, share with your friends if they're into colouring, let them know. And I'll hopefully see you all again very soon. Again, apologies for the late, for taking so long to get this out. It's just because I've been so poorly. And I'll see you all soon. So thanks, guys. Bye.